Okay, hi guys, it's me, Sammy. So now we are going to Shenzhen. Are you guys ready? Okay guys, so right now I'm in Shenzhen. So I must say that I'm fortunate enough to meet up with Monitor Chan, who is the Chief Operation Officer of Walton Chain in Shenzhen, so that we can understand better on how they're using blockchain into their business. According to Monitor Chan, Warden Chain was started in 2014 and had four years of experience prior in chips developing, which is one of their independent intellectual property development rights, including RFID chips, infrared chips, and other chips that are closely working with the technology of IoT. The inspiration was came from the collaboration with Inkchain, whose team are composed of mostly young and talented bachelor graduates. They realized that their projects are solely focused on the software development without the supports from any hardwares. Though the softwares were unique and could have a great market value, but they strongly felt that was not enough to tackle the industrial pain points. Hence, they decided to infuse their specialty in hardware technologies with the usage of blockchain. With the RFID chips they had invented, a self-encrypted system, usage of internet and blockchain, that made Walton Chain stood out from all the other blockchain projects. Of course, not to mention that they are fortunate enough to have the approval and support from the government, it indeed made them advance further, as such projects would need an enormous amount of capitals and resources, which would be too challenging for small companies. Monitor Chan and their team realized that it is undeniable that in the future, blockchain is going to be one of the most dictating technology that impacts the way of our trading methods, business models, and lifestyle, as there will be a drastic increase in the number of blockchain projects. For a good blockchain project, the main focus should not be on boasting about their skills, but rather on the effectiveness of their technology in solving industrial problems. Currently, there are way too many air projects serving without a purpose or too profit-driven. The fashion industry became their starting point as Monitor Chan is most familiar with it. Soon, Walton Chain will expand the usage of RFID chips into other industries and will be announced in the white book of the entire Walton Chain ecosystem. With the RFID chip system, consumers can be informed of the materials of the clothing. It means being able to track down to the original sources and ensuring no contamination or forgery involved. For instance, so to prove that such material is originated from Italy. But such terminology should be vastly used in other industries such as pharmaceutical, food production, to ensure health and security, which are Walden Chain's ultimate goal to help solving global issues. Compared to the conventional data storage which has limited space, Monitor Chan assured us that the storage available in a blockchain server is almost never ending. In the field of the IoT, the amount of concurrent requests is very big due to data writing by each sensor, causing the Ethereum network to be heavily congested. Walton Chain has tried to overcome this by incubating several child chains so that it will not cause congestions when storing data. Data can be chosen to store in the parent chain or child chains. Walton Chain's cross-chain mechanism allows efficient value and data circulation between the parent chain and multiple child chains and integrates the multi-chain structure into the whole cross-industry blockchain ecology. According to Monitor Chan, RFID chips are one of the greatest strengths of Walton Chain. It uses electromagnetic fields to automatically identify and track tags attached to objects. The tags contain electronically stored information. The passive tags collect energy from a nearby RFID readers interrogating radio waves, while the active tags have a local power source and may operate hundreds of meters from the RFID reader. Unlike a barcode, the tag need not to be within the line of sight of the reader, so it may be embedded in the tracked object. In simple terms, it works as an identification purpose just like our IDs. It stores the data of their products and where data is automatically uploaded into a blockchain, 
A decentralized server where all data are ensured to be real and accurate. Contrast to the centralized data storage systems, it requires way a lot of manpower to check stock manually, yet still have the risk of data loss and malicious alteration. As the white book of the entire world and chain ecosystem is going to be announced soon, Monodal Chan has shared with us on his views on how to create a good ecosystem. There are mainly two different aspects to focus on. One is the ecological asset. As more data are stored in all parent chains and child chains, it will eventually become a big data that are available to the public to access freely, which could be useful for developments as to create an industry standard for the responding industries, also beneficial for the industrial economy. While the other is the social ecological system, where their global partners were almost 40% from European countries, 30% from Australia and 30% throughout the Southeast Asia. There have been overloading manpower that they had sent out from their country to aid in community administration and development. One of their goals is that each community would be able to manage their development in their own home countries by using the information that are available on the internet through the big data contained in blockchain. Walden Chain's aim is to become the Qualcomm plus Cisco in the blockchain industry and the Google search engine of blockchain with a combination of hardware, software, ecosystem, parent and child chain architecture. It is important that more sharing can only be achieved if the community feels safe and secure, so to be one with equality and justice with the aid of an advanced technology. As digital wallets and asset digitalization are getting more common a long time, Walden Chain are also on their plans to incubate more companies into their child chains. Accordingly, these child chains would also be consuming the Walden Chain's digital currency, which is called the WTC token. Similarly to the other digital currencies like Ethereum, when every ERC20 tokens and every transaction that consume Ethereum, the value will rise higher. Same goes to WTC tokens. Up to today, there are only a limited amount of WTC tokens available in the market, at about 100 million. In the past, a Guardian Masternode would take about 5,000 WTC tokens to qualify as one, while the Super Masternode will be announced soon by Walton Chain to recruit global partners to incubate the next 50 child chains. Thank you, Alfred from Cedar Network, for introducing me to Walton Chain, and thank you, Walton Chain. See ya!